All right, hey everybody, this is Davies here, and welcome back to Otaku Puppy. And we are back with another bonus puppy for you guys today. Hope everybody's doing well. If you're in in the south southern region, Georgia, and everything, hope you're staying dry because here it's raining. It's pretty dark outside, so yeah, the weather isn't great. Um, we just got just got over the snow, which was great, but now we're onto the rain, which is not so great. So, hope everybody's doing well. Um, if any con season is starting up where you guys are, hope you guys get some good cosplays in. And yeah, hope everybody's doing great. Hope everybody's watching some awesome animes. I'm, I'm pretty sure most of you are watching the Card Captor anime. I was going to watch it, but since I haven't, I don't remember the ending of the original series. So, I decided to go back and rewatch the original, and now I'll just catch the new one later on. I heard it's getting dubbed, so I'll just catch it later. Um, but yeah, so enough rambling. Um, I'm back today with another bonus puppy for you guys. And this is one I've been wanting to do for a while. Um, I originally wanted to do it with Robert. I just haven't had, had time to get with him. He works a lot, so he's kind of more, a lot more busy than I am. So that's understandable. So I figured I would go ahead and do it and get it out the way because it's one I really wanted to do for a long time. And this is sort of my... Um, overview of the Kona High Corner podcast. Um, I'm sure a lot of you remember the Kona High Corner podcast. They were they were the Naruto podcast. Like they were your source for everything Naruto and just everything bizarre. Like they were they were amazing. And um, their sort of reason me and Robert started doing the Taku Puppy was because of them. And he sort of got into the whole podcasting thing and YouTube thing was because of Corner High Corner. And um I just go right into how I first got introduced to Corner High Corner. Um this was probably around oh, I don't even know. I wanna say maybe oh eight between between like oh eight and two thousand ten. Maybe this was back when Momocon, the anime convention here in Georgia, was still at the Georgia Tech um, like, like the Georgia Tech, like, student center thing. Um, it's hard to explain, kind of, it's almost like a auditorium, but it's for the students, and it's a pretty big place. And I wish they still had it there, honestly, it was, it was amazing there, but kind of got crowded after a while. But, um, this was one of those years we were there. Um, this is also the first place we saw Detroit Metal City live action movie. Which, if you have not seen Detroit Metal, Detroit, Detroit City Metal, oh god, I just forget that up. But you know what I'm talking about. The Detroit Metal City um, anime or the movie, the movie is pure, pure comedy genius. It's amazing. It's so great. It's so great. But anyway, um, so this is one of those years we went. Um, this is back when the convention was free. And one of those years we were kind of, we were there, it was getting kind of late, between 7 and maybe like 8, 9 o'clock. Still kind of roaming around, you know, not much to do. We look at the schedule and it says, live podcast. And we were like, uh, well, nothing else to do, why not? Let's just go and see. We walk in the room and, sorry if you came on my phone, sorry about that. We walk in the room and not only has the podcast started, but there's a room full of people. And we walk in, and it's like, okay. Like, why are these people here? Like, do they know what's going on? And we don't. And when you walk in, they, they, they totally just point us out and like, we're like, welcome, you're late to the party. And so we were like, okay. So we just sat down. And back then, at the place, it was kind of like a, they, they were almost, they were basically classrooms, basically. And so when you walk in, there was a, it was kind of circled around kind of oval like and so we just kind of sat in and filled it in seats and they had a room full of people we weren't sure what was going on we were just like well we're here let's enjoy it and it's the best experience i've ever had at an anime convention like i'll never forget it they were ridiculous and they were so over the top with the toby tales and the gothic gara and naruto she was cute but she was pervy and they had jiraiya and they had it was because they had it was gara naruto toby jiraiya sasuke and later on they had sai also and um 
there was one more member. He was from like the UK or something. But they were just so ridiculous and so over the top. And it was it was almost like you didn't know what you didn't know what you were in store for. It was like they were talking about Naruto, but they were also being extremely pervy. Extremely like not it wasn't PG at all. And it was just like Okay, like the longer we were there, we were laughing, but it was like, this is bizarre, and this is weird, but it's so funny, and it was, it was, it was amazing, and so we left there just like, okay, we're calling our corner fans now, go home and just Google this, and I remember Googling and looking them up, and for a while, I couldn't find them, because honestly, I was watching Naruto, but I didn't know how to spell Konoha. I had no idea. Like, I was looking it up, and I was spelled it this way and that way, and that was, everything was wrong. I finally stumbled upon it, and this was back, this is how long ago this has been. This was back when Mega Download was still a thing. Because, because their, their episodes, if I'm not mistaken, were up on Mega Download. You go to Mega Download, and you can download the episode, episodes, and yeah, so that's old school. Um... But they they eventually kind of got away from Mega Download because Mega Download was being taken down and all that kind of good stuff. <gasps> oh, sorry about it, guys. Um, so they finally kind of got away from Mega Download and kind of went the iTunes route. And they were the reason I signed up for iTunes. I had I had never had an iTunes account before then, so I signed up for iTunes and I I would download the episodes all the time. Like I was downloading the episodes and also the Toby Tales. And for that, those of you who don't know, Toby's Tales was sort of like what um, Bonus Puppy is here. Where we're not necessarily talking about a certain thing in a certain anime, just talking about something in the culture in general. Toby's Tales was like the tales of Toby just doing the most bizarre and crazy things ever. I think there was one by him eating cookies where he got like beat up by Obito or some, or some weird thing. Like, like, like it was always bizarre and Toby was just... He was just like this gullible little child that just always got in trouble but found his way out of it in the end. And it was it was also amazing. So I would go to iTunes and download the Toby Tales and the episodes. Toby Tales and the episodes. And I, mean, I did that for oh, for a few years. Like I would be at school and I would take my tablet and I would just like blink, play Toby Tales while I'm doing homework. Because I, like, I was in college by this point. So, I was like, doing homework, bam, let's play Corner High Corner at the same time. And I did that for a while. And then, um, I remember we went to MomoCon, maybe in 2013, 2014. It was the year, um, it was the year the um, Naruto game came out in May not Ultimate Ninja Storm 4, maybe Ultimate Ninja Storm 3, I think it was. I want to say 3, it may have even been 2. 2 or 3 came out, and um, they were there at Momocon. And that year they hosted a, um, well, let me backtrack, because before then, they did another panel. They did another panel at Momocon, I want to say the year or two after, the first time we saw them. And, um, they were at another, another location, um, this panel was, it was awesome, because they, it was awesome, they, they, um, threw out treats and stuff, and stickers and whatnot, and it was also off the wall and bizarre, which was great. Um, that was, but that was the first year I remember that I don't think Jiraiya was a part of the cast, because that same year, the Soul Eater podcast was at Momocolor, and they also had a panel. And Jiraiya was, um, the guy who played Jiraiya for Konot Corner was also in the Soul Eater podcast. And I don't believe he did, but I think he was just doing Soul Eater at that time. Um, Soul Eater podcast sort of faded away after a while. They, they were good too, but they faded away after a while. And so I do remember that third, that next year, I'm talking about with the game, they hosted a panel where they, um, played the Naruto game. And what they did was they um, dubbed over, um, dubbed over each character uh, in the game, or at least the characters that they talked for on Corner Corner, like Gara, Voicer, and Jiraiya, Jiraiya, and so on and so on. But that was also the year where I won't say they declined in being funny, but. 
I won't say they kind of being funny, but they sort of running out of steam to a degree. Like, it wasn't that they weren't being funny, but it was, it held them back if one, they were only doing characters that they voiced on the podcast. It would have been better if they just, just did the cast in general. Just do pick a, pick a character and just voice them from what you think about them in the anime. You know, personality-wise, that way. Um, so that year, I also remember that year, um, Robert actually cosplayed Esgar that year. And we were in the gaming room. And Gothic Gar passed by Robert, and he was like, awesome cosplay. And, like, that was, that was, that was epic. Um, but yeah, so that, that's the final year I remember them actually even doing a panel at a convention. They may have done one after that, but I don't, I didn't, I don't remember another one. Um, it's also the year where I sort of lost track of the podcast for a while. Like, for a while, I thought they were just done with it. Because the iTunes thing was pretty much no more. Um... I know a couple of times they 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 were doing like you know like PayPal donations before that was really popular, and so I know for a while they were doing that for a while and then um they just sort of kind of faded away. Then for a while the the um podcast was being uploaded on YouTube, just audio only on YouTube, which was cool too, which was also awesome. And so they were doing that for a while, which was like okay, well YouTube free that's even better. So I'm all about the free, so I get it. So that was that was awesome. I did that for a while. And then again, they kind of fade away. And also by this point, they were doing the fairy tale podcast, which the monologue is still going on, and it's pretty much, pretty much gotten as popular as Conan Corner was at the time. They were doing fairy tale and doing Naruto. Um, Gothic Gara had started doing a few reviews on his own. And they were also dubbing, um. Dubbing the Naruto manga, I want to say maybe the shipping the manga, but they were like fan dubbing in the manga, so each person was a character, of course, and they were doing the voices and whatnot. So they were doing that along with the podcast. Um, about this time, I sort of lost track of them again. I wasn't really into the whole dubbing the manga thing. It was cool, but I wasn't really into it that much. So I kind of winged away a little bit and would check them out here or there, and um, then. They got to the current form they had before they finally wrapped up, which was they were doing um, the Corner Corner episodes live on live on YouTube via I think it was Google Hangouts, if I'm not mistaken. They were doing it via Hangout, and this was the last form of Corner High Corner. And by this time, it sort of had just I, like I, I I myself as a fan, it kind of. Just tuned out. I tried to stick with them, but I kind of tuned out at the end. And I, I don't mean to say by any disrespect to them at all. They were all great. They always been my favorite podcast ever. And just by this point, um, I think even they admitted it some. They just kind of sort of lost interest in Naruto. And the passion for it just wasn't there anymore. And if you watch their podcast from... Uh, maybe two years ago, because it's been over for a while now. So maybe two to three years ago, if you watch their Corner Corner podcast on YouTube, you can see that it's just it's just not there. A lot of the cast wouldn't show up. You would get like you would get Gara because he was the main one running the podcast. You would get Gara, like you may get Naruto sometimes, and maybe Sasuke, and like you would like you would like when we first when I first got introduced to Corner Corner, there was at least Seven people, at least seven. By this part of Corner Corner with the Google Hangouts, like you might, you might get all six or seven people, and you might just get three or four. Like, like they were, they were doing half shows of half a cast, and they would do the review of the anime, and some of them weren't weren't even watching them. Yeah, some of the episodes were filler, true enough, but some some of them weren't even watching watching it at all to even review it. They were just. Oh, no, I didn't see it this week. Or, no, I didn't see it either. Oh, I'm behind on it. And it was just like, you do a podcast based on this anime, whether it's filler or not filler, your job, so to speak, is to watch it and review it. And so they weren't watching it, and they were kind of just focusing more on dubbing the manga and just sort of being silly and 
it, it just it wasn't working for me anymore. Like I love the silliness, but the silliness always went with the Naruto theme. And now they were kind of getting away from that and just weren't focusing on it so much. And they just kind of got away from it. And then um, after a while, maybe in the last two years. Maybe yeah, about maybe about around 2015 or so. Um, I just kind of stopped even bothering to watch the episodes. Um, I would catch the live stream sometimes. I would watch a little bit of it and just kind of clear it off. I just wasn't interested anymore. Like I said, they were doing Fairy Tale by that time too, and Fairy Tale was definitely getting more popular as far as their podcast was going. So they they weren't even bothering with Naruto anymore. And so um, I noticed. It was when Naruto Shippuden finally ended. Um, or at least the manga ended anyway, I think. Um, they they have a video up now. It's about, oh, maybe three to five hours. And it's their, like, farewell video to Kona Corner, the podcast, and also their farewell to Naruto in general. And um, I haven't watched it yet. I just haven't had the nerve to sit down and watch those three to five hours yet. But I plan to watch them and just kind of get their last, very, very last episode of Corner Corner ever. And get their last thoughts on Naruto. Because, like I said, the podcast was a very, very influential in me doing what I'm doing now. And it will forever be one of my favorite podcasts. I probably still have some of the episodes downloaded somewhere. Either in my iTunes account or on the MP3 player somewhere around here because I was I was in love with Conhaw Corner. Like never missed the episode. And Robert was too. Like it was it was great. And um it was kinda sad to see them kind of go out the way they did with the passion just not there anymore. But I understand that when you do a podcast based on just one anime Especially one that's as long as Naruto is, manga wise and anime wise, you do tend to kind of lose interest after a while, I guess, because there is so much to cover, and you can only, you know, that passion can die away after a while. And like I said, I also think they they just got a bigger passion for fairy tale because the fairy tale pa- podcast was really blowing up. They were doing um different characters there, and they've done interviews and they've done conventions with it, and they still do it as far as I know to this day. Matter of fact, let me look at it while I'm here. Why not? Why not? You guys don't mind? Let me check this out um and see if their fairy tale podcast is still up. I'm pretty sure it is. I've checked, I've checked it out a few times, but I just, I never stuck with Fairy Tale. I got to episode 80 in the first series, and when I found out about, um, the little blue, the little blue thing with Natsu, um, was when he, when it turned out that he was like this celestial god this whole time, and he had no memory of it, I was like, nope. I just had to cut it off because that was total BS. Like, come on, fairy tale. So I just stopped watching it after that. I sort of went back to it when that reboot happened. I dropped it also. So I just, I don't know, fairy tale. Fairy tale is one of those animes that people either love or really just don't care for at all. Um, and I don't, I don't hate it, but I don't really care for it either. I'm gonna see fairy tale podcast. Yeah, they have. 2,588 videos. I'm sure they're still doing them then. Um, just a second, guys, because it may start playing. I don't want it to play. I don't want it to play. Yeah. Um, well, they're not actually doing Fairy Tale anymore, it seems. Um, yeah, no, they're on to. Just reviewing different animes now, I guess. Then, um, yeah, okay. Well, that's 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 different. <laughs> so I guess the fairy tale thing is done also then, um, because all I see now is I see reviews for um, Ruby and Welcome to the Ballroom and the Defenders, um, the Marvel show, um, like um, Clean Freak. Aya Yamakun, Convenience Store Boyfriend, Gamers, um, Classroom of the Elite, My Love Story. Well, yeah, so they just have reviews um, of reviews and reactions now of other shows, and they have a few a few um, 
review, I mean, interviews up here also with um, a few, I guess, voice actors, maybe. Um, yeah, so, okay. Like, they just reviewed Welcome to the Ballroom two weeks ago. So, that's the thing now. Okay. So, I guess they're not doing Fairytale anymore. Hmm. So maybe that's over it, too, then. But, yeah, so I just wanted to kind of give my overview on Conar Corner and how impactful they were to me. Like I said, it kind of sucks the way they went out, but they had a great run. Um, I'm glad to say I was there for a lot of it. Like, I, I wasn't there from the beginning, but I was definitely there in that middle, like, middle 2000s run from, like, like I said, maybe 08 to about 2013. I was there, and it was amazing. And I always loved the podcast. They were always awesome to listen to and always fun people to see live. Um, if you ever got to see them live at the Amic Convention, you know what I mean. The experience was always great, and they were always fun people to be around. So, uh, yeah. That's basically it. I'm going to ramble on too much longer. Um, if you have never heard the Corner Corner podcast, uh, check out YouTube. I'm sure the episodes are there somewhere. Um, so just check out YouTube, Google Kona High Corner Podcast, maybe Kona High Corner Podcast Naruto, and it should be there somewhere. And you're 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 in for a ride and for a treat. So I definitely think you will enjoy it. Um, yes. Yeah, so until next time, as we say here, Maho.